out for another adventure. I'm out here in the Adirondacks. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. A little overcast, but that's better than what the uh, projection was going to be. It's supposed to be thunder and lightning storms all week, but this was when we had it scheduled, and this is when we're going. So I'm, uh, I'm out here already. Grayson should be joining me shortly. I'll be uh, going back to the launch to pick him up and his cousin up when they get here in a, I don't know, a few hours. So right now I'm kind of cruising down the lake uh, or pond just to see if I can get a, uh, a good campsite. It doesn't look too busy, probably because of the weather report, but this pond looks beautiful right now and I'm going to go ahead and enjoy myself. Let's go. So Grayson and his cousin are not going to be here until, I don't know, probably 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. I don't want to get camp too far out because it's supposed to be thunder and lightning storms tonight, which are supposed, supposed to kick up uh, right around when they're getting here. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just camp here because it's, oh, it's right around the corner. I actually went past this site, checked out another island, and came all the way back because I really wanted to check this site out. I got camp set up, got myself tucked in there nicely, shouldn't have any issues with the inclement weather coming our way. Uh, wind should be coming from this, uh, this backside here, and uh, I should be able to enjoy this view looking out from underneath there. Pretty excited about that. And then we got camp over here, nothing too special uh, yet, just my normal uh, kitchen recruitments and uh, I did bring a, a larger chair this time my, my big back chair uh, just because 
I'm canoe camping and I had the room and it weighs nothing, it changes nothing. It's not like I'm backpacking. Yeah, but other than that, I'm just kind of enjoying myself now. I'm going to take a breather, sit down, think for a minute. Um, unfortunately, we are close enough to the road that I am listening to the road noise. Uh, hopefully that calms down at nighttime, but we'll see. Oh yeah, something is brewing. Doesn't look too bad on camera, but you can definitely hear the rumbling. Well, for the most part, that uh, storm's pretty much gone. It was actually enjoyable to listen to for quite a while. I've just been sitting here for pretty much an hour at this point, hour and a half, just listening to that thunder from from a distance. Having a uh, ice cold water and some uh, cookies my wife made me. Nice thing about having a canoe camping adventure is you can bring some of your extra goodies. I even have this cooler right here. Bought that cooler, so I got that packed down with ice and beverages. Oh yeah, that's them. Loading up the canoe. Look at that chase stroke. Get that, keeping it straight. Look at that. Well done. Well done. You buddy. I like the way you're stroking that paddle the whole way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice over here. You had a good drink good J stroke going, I saw that. Well when we didn't see I'm like, man, I don't I couldn't see anything. Yeah. It's like is it sure it's that island? And that thing hangs off like four feet. It's like, <laughs> Joe, you hey, should have. like the 80s inside that thing. Why you didn't just wait and get something? Just, just no. Just go it's like, and what they want to sell already? No, it's up on a hill. And below the hill, the neighbor is. Important stuff. Just me trying to go through stuff for my brother. Good morning. Just getting our uh, our food going. Had a little energy drink type deal. Get my body moving. I'm fully awake now, and now I'm trying to think of what I want to do for the day. That water looks pretty good. Everything was kind of weather dependent on this trip, um, but I think after breakfast I'm going to go out, do a little paddling. Uh, Especially if it stays like this. This is nice. So, that's the plan for right now. But, you got to check out this peak refuel. That thing was stacked with food. I can't wait to uh, dig into that. But right now, I'm waiting for it to all de 
you know, rehydrate up and all that. So anyway, let's have some breakfast and then get out on the water. All right, let's leave this place, go explore. Onward to the next island. Check out these campsites. I thought there'd be people on all these. Man, look at all them. Tons and tons of bugs. Crazy. Somebody was just here. Oh, and they brought a whole bunch of firewood out. Too. Oh my gosh. I think all of these spots so far have been excellent, but no, no firewood. You could really go at any of these sites and be happy. Hammocks or tents, doesn't matter. It's leaning. Definitely a lean four. Lean three, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this site, I don't know if it would have been worth it to make it all the way out here. Yeah, we're turning around. The wind's already picking up. We don't want to get stuck out here. Thunder and lightning. got some wood that we had collected when we were out exploring so that was definitely gold and then uh, we've just been kind of burning up some little pieces over here at the fire wet. No. we went and looks wet, but it's not bad. grabbed some more uh, some more stuff to cut up I think my, uh... so yeah now we're just hanging out I had ourselves uh, some lunch and Getting things prepped for tonight. Maybe go back out in the canoe for a little bit or I might go for a quick swim. All right. Having ourselves some dinner. Getting it ready. Heating this up. And we are having Tuscan beef stew and Italian polenta. Packy Gourmet, one of my favorites. Out for a little paddle before the thunder and lightning hits. bit of a breeze just kind of pushing me around a little bit looking at the sky I mean what a beautiful sky just the clouds and I mean it's 
terrible as the weather could have been, this has been an awesome, awesome trip. And uh, I'm real thankful for it. Definitely needed something like this. Hey guys, good morning. Cheers. Well, last night was a uh, was a good night. Yeah, after we had our our nighttime paddle and was nice relaxed, we came back, played some tunes, hung out, and reminisced on the good old days. Even listened to uh, another song from BM Basic Military Training (BMT). <laughs> BMT songs version two. <laughs> Uh, Grayson went around the same time I did, so we got a lot of the similar mem memories. And, uh, you know, playing some of those songs that they would play at church just brings back a lot of a lot of memories. But, um, yeah, and then we kind of listened to some songs from, from our youth that uh, I haven't heard since then. So we kind of jammed out. <clears throat> went to bed pretty early, actually. And then uh, early this morning it started raining. So we've we've got a good had a good rain to sleep through. It was really nice, peaceful. Nothing too bad, nothing windy, nothing that really made us have to worry about anything. So it was good. Today's plan, I would like to go and check out uh the big lake, Saranac Lake. Just go out and uh there's a uh, an island over there. Buck Island maybe, something like that. Um but I want to go check that place out. So hopefully the weather holds out because I really want to explore a little bit more around this area. So we'll see. I'm going to finish up my uh, little energy drink. Uh, it's pure bo boost for anybody who cares. <clears throat> I don't drink coffee out here too often because it gets cold or whatever. And it kind of, I like to just sip on this for, for a little while and then do stuff and then sip some more. And I might make my my breakfast and then have some more, you know, and just kind of uh, enjoy it. Whereas with a coffee, um, usually you have to have more fuel and it usually gets cold. So, plus I'm, I'm just more lazy out here and I'm used to really, really nice coffee at home. I'm a coffee connoisseur at home. So, no way. There's a two bald eagles. I'm on my way. Like his top middle. I see her head right now. Oh, I see her. I see her. I see her. Like yeah, I see her. Wow. She is camouflaged, man. Yeah, looks like part of the tree. We, right we there. Her, we saw the male. Yeah. Right Over. there. Oh, there she's moving her head. Wow. Well, looks like I'm going to sit out here and watch this bird finish my sort of coffee. And see, that's that's what's nice about these two. I just cap it, take it wherever I want, so I don't have to worry about my coffee spilling or whatever. So now I'm just sitting out here, and I can actually watch watch this for my morning uh For my morning coffee. Well, we're back out on the water, guys. This time we're gonna go for that adventure. It's it's cloudy, it's gray. So I did bring my rain gear and uh, some food and stuff, some water, just basic essentials. But we do want to go check this uh, check this bigger lake out. So I gotta catch up to the Grayson now. Took me a little bit to get ready, but they were ready to go already, so they headed out. Let's go check this out.
on that rock. How cool would that spot be? That's pretty neat. Cool. Sit right up there on that rock and just look at this. Oh man. Wow. Look at this. Now that's property. I don't know if that's just one person's house or a bunch. Look at that. That's a nice garage. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Yeah, see that? See that speedboat? That's the only thing that I worry about out here on these big leaks. They create those big leaks. And then blow us all around. But I also worry if they even see us. I waved at him. I think he slowed down. He saw me. I waved at him. I think I think we're good. Too. Nice little setup, but it is wavy, and in any inclement weather is not going to be fun. Yeah, that <laughs> it didn't seem like that when we were crossing it, dude. We're white capping now. Definitely. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. That does not look fun. There we go. I'm just thankful it's not a cross breeze. It's a headwind, which makes it tough for paddling. But a little safer. Like Grayson and uh, Mike are behind me a little ways now. I'm not sure it might have been fatigue kind of wearing in now. I definitely am feeling it all across my shoulders and traps. I figured I'd feel it more in my lats, but even with me doing like proper strokes kind of helps a little bit but not not enough I need to I need to engage my lats more when I'm doing this but just kind of paddle my way back I might film a little bit more but at this point I'm just going back the way I came so feeling comfortable feeling good now Let's go. All right, made it back. That was a that was a fun little trip. I am pretty tired from doing it. Uh, definitely feel it all throughout here. Um, but it was good, and I definitely gained some confidence, which was nice. I got some confidence out there, uh, going through those bigger waves and stuff, and feeling pretty pretty good doing it. I didn't get blown around on the lake too much. I had to power through it with uh, some muscle, but Outside of that, I, I'm okay with that as long as I'm not, you know, completely defeated like I was last time. I couldn't even turn into the wind this time straight into it, and I just had to power through it, and that felt pretty good. Decent-sized waves, 
a um, couple white caps for sure and uh, did pretty well with no no extra weight in the boat or anything so uh, pretty happy with that I don't think I'd choose to do something like that and I definitely I don't know I got mixed feelings about those big lakes like that um, but it was it was a good experience so now I'm back at camp just waiting on uh, Grayson and Mike to get back there uh, I think they were stopping at a campsite just to check it, check it out on the way uh, but it's all pretty easy paddling I waited at least for them to get to uh, through the big lake um, once it got into that area I was like all right they're good and I kept paddling so now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit wait for them to get here and hopefully have some dinner here soon all right tonight is peak refuel beef pasta marinara I don't know this this company is new to me but a lot of people like them yeah. that's what it looks like in there and it looks delicious it's got a little cheese in there a bunch of goodies and uh, I think the big thing that I like about it is uh, you get a lot of protein a lot of protein in their stuff so all right let's eat up All right, good morning, guys. Just had my uh, energy drink here, hanging out. Grayson in the background there. He's starting to pack up a few things. I got to start packing up. Last night was a <laughs> was a nice night. Uh, did a lot of stupid stuff like that. <laughs> Couldn't ask for better weather compared to what the forecast was. It was supposed to be basically thunder and lightning all the entire time. And we got away with just overcast like this, which is totally fine with me. And had some great paddling, had some good adventures, but time to pack up and pack it in. And hopefully I'll get another adventure in in September after I come back from my um, <clears throat> military school that I got to go to. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one this weekend and four words yeah good times great nuts <laughs>